Welcome, in front of me is a POCO F7 and today I will be showing you how we can go through the setup process of your brand new device. So to get started, just click on the arrow and then find your desired language from the list. Click on next and then choose your region. I do recommend choosing regions that are based in the European Union uh, because of the laws that we have right here, which are more favorable to customers. From there, you have terms and conditions, so you can read each one of them by tapping on them. Scroll down, select the box and go to the next page. And here you will get a setup using another device, just an option for you to move over all your data from your old device, um, completely up to you. And this is using Android. So, or Android or more like Google account, so it's only going to move over things that are associated with your Google account, basically things that Google has access to, and nothing else. Anyway, moving on, we have checking for a SIM card, this is completely optional, we can just go to the next page and ignore this. You can insert your SIM card at any point, uh, the reason it shows up here is because it's one of the ways you can access network, the other one would be Wi-Fi. And if you choose to skip both of them, you won't have any kind of network connection. Therefore, date and time might not be set correctly. You won't be able to restore absent data, log into Google account, and uh, have uh, update the device. Now, this only extends to setup process. Once it's finished, you can go to the settings and change all of that. So you don't need to worry too much about it. Now, here we have the protection of our device, and we have several different methods of protecting it. Screen lock, face recognition, and fingerprint. Uh, the first option, the screen lock, consists of three options, uh, pin, pattern, or password. And then E2 biometrics uh, will always require any kind of physical way of unlocking the device, as they're biometrics, so they're not 100% they're not reliable. Um, so yeah. Now, alternatively, you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, but I would recommend protecting it. Next, we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but at the end of the day, it's from Google. So let's not kid ourselves and, uh, and think that this does anything. It will just look like it doesn't do any anything, but uh, I'm pretty confident Google is gathering their data one way or another, with or without your permission. If they wouldn't, and those toggles would actually do something, there wouldn't be a reason for companies like Google and others to be in antitrust lawsuits. Just putting that out there. Next we have basic settings. Uh, so these are from Xiaomi as some of them will be doubling here. So we have location, which we already had from Google, uh, automatic system updates and some other stuff. Now the only thing that I recommend turning here uh, is turning off is the personalized ads. It's basically bullshit spyware that, uh, that checks what you search for, what you talk about and type, and then gives you ads based on that thing. If it sounds like it's absolutely creepy, intrusive dog shit, that's because it totally is. And I want to also point out that this dog shit here, when you try to turn it off, no other, no other one does that. You can turn anything off and you can see it just does it normally but you try to turn this off whoa 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 are you sure you want to turn off this amazing spyware yeah go yourself here with this shit so once you turn that off and i do recommend turning that off because let's be honest none of us like ads or ones that are specifically ripped off from what we are searching or talking about that just because it's creepy uh then you can go to the next page next we have turn on parental control self-explanatory up to you next we have uh, fonts choose whichever one you like more uh, when you select it it automatically just shows you an example right here um, set up screen lock um, or lock screen uh, this is a wallpaper carousel I personally like to skip this I don't like this uh, feature at all what it does is every time you press the power button when your device is locked so when it's like this and you press it to just get uh, the lock screen view, uh, it will show you different wallpaper. I generally dislike this as these wallpapers are very random at, at times where it might show you like a made cleaning or brick wall or basket of fruits or some stuff. So I just like to select my own and I personally don't like this. If you also like to have a one single static wallpaper cho chosen by you, then you most likely want to skip this. Next we have select a default launcher. Uh, it's not really launcher, just icon placement, either up drawer or 
all apps on your home screen like it's an iPhone. Navigation style, gestures, buttons, choose whichever one you want. I like gestures. And this finishes up the setup. So let's just give it a moment. Come on. Um. Okay, I guess we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Come on, I believe in you. Let's go. You had time to prepare the system when I was going to the setup for 10 minutes. There you go. Click on continue and this will take you to your home screen. So there we go, now the setup is finished. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.